Now we all want to ask the alethiometer a question. What would you ask it? Are Liverpool going to win the Premier League? Because <laughs> 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 of course, yeah, I can betting. give you the answer for that <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need no alethiometer uh, <laughs> yeah, to give you the answer for that. At this point, we don't. Right now. This is a final rebellion. My name is Amanda Ray Prescott, and I'm here with the cast of His Dark Materials. I want to start by talking to Dan and Jane. Um, what can fans expect this season? I think it's fair to say that the fans can expect quite a wild ride for our characters. Uh, we always say that the Amber Spyglass is the full expression of crazy um, in all of its magnificence, and we have adapted all of that. And I would say the fans should expect the unexpected. It's a wild ride. It's a huge, epic, moving through a series of different worlds. It's the end of the Odyssey. It really is a magnificent finish. It's our best shot of what is one of the you know, craziest, most profound books I've ever read. There are so many different places in the previews that I saw. Like, where did you actually film in real life? Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Welsh Wales. It was all filmed in Welsh Wales. Actually, you did go other places too, right? We did, we did. We went to Spain. Ooh, Just that there. is exciting. We did two weeks in Spain, but we uh, filmed in a, a studio in, in Cardiff, Wales, and it's and it's great. The production designer, Joel Collins, and everyone on, on his team, and anyone who was involved building the sets did a, an amazing job, but make, it was so immersive, and you know, we had barely stood in front of a green screen. I don't think I was ever in front of a green screen. I stood in front of a green screen and felt like an absolute <laughs> prat a couple of times, but then I always do. But um, no, it is amazing. Their commitment to making Wales work for these multiple worlds is, is, is amazing, actually. Well, where else do you go to film the Kingdom of Heaven but yeah. Wales? That's true. Now, Amir, well, Will is on... He's not even sure where he's going. What can fans expect for Will's journey this season? Um, uh, a different Will. This, I think, the Will in season three. I remember talking to Amit, who directed the first two episodes, about just a new... He has a sense of himself. He knows what he wants and, and, and why he wants it. We find him, we leave him at season two, and he's kind of at the lowest of lows. And then at the beginning of season three, he's on his journey to find Lyra. And he gets help from unexpected characters, from angels and bears. Um, they guide him in the right direction. And James, Lord Azrael has huge, huge plans. Do you really, is there some doubt there in his mind? Fair to say, there's no too much doubt. Uh, he, he look, he's a he's a belief machine. He believes uh, he's right, and he believes he is at the very center of all things. And he probably does have some messianic complex. Um, but what's I think what's interesting about his journey is he goes from somebody who for whom the the ends uh, are totally going to justify the means, and the destination is way more important than the journey, and it really is about doing anything that needs to be done to to do the right thing and in, in what he considers is the right thing. And yet, he's got some huge plans, he's got some huge ego, and he's got some huge issues to deal with. And by the end of the season, they all get challenged, and he realises, well, you, he, well, he may or may not realise, but hopefully he will realise that actually he's got a much simpler task, he's got a much simpler role in all of this. And while it seems to have been reduced to something a bit more mundane, it's actually really profound and beautiful where he ends up and the sacrifice that he actually ends up making. And also, you know, whether... Whether the sacrifice of others is important in uh, attaining your goals or your own personal sacrifice, and that's all part of his journey. He is assembling a team of people to help him. Who, which character do you think fans are going to be like, oh my god, like, I can't believe they did that from the books. I mean, there's a hell of them. There's a hell of a lot of them. There's the Galavespians, which are a really cool addition in the books. I think you've actually made uh, Lord of Gunway or King of Gunway. Is he Lord or King? Uh, Commander of Gunway's people maybe more interesting than they were in the books. In the books, they're just another bunch of people from Lyra's world. Uh, in this one, they've got a whole, they've got a much kind of more torn and and, and harrowing uh, history. Um, and then the angels as well. The angels are just wild. Since we see Will with his subtle knife, if you all had the subtle knife, where would you go first? Bali or something like that. Summit Thailand, <laughs> Thailand, Thailand, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, right now, I'd probably go to a burger shack because I am starving. <laughs> I'd probably go on holiday as well, back to Provence, where I was on holiday a couple of months ago. It was amazing. 
I, uh, probably to a burger shack, but after I've done that, I'd like to think that maybe I'd use the subtle knife to do something. I think channel the full Lord Asriel and the full Zelensky and go out to the Ukraine and do something useful with it. I think that's what Asriel would do. Uh, I'm going to say something way more uh, selfish and base than that, which is I'm going to move between my hometown in the UK and Whole Foods in Midtown. I was there yesterday, got some amazing discount stuff. And great, great quality. Now, we all want to ask the alethiometer a question. What would you ask it? I would ask the alethiometer what Philip Pullman refuses to tell me, which is what happens in the end of the Book of Dust. Are Liverpool going to win the Premier League? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah, I can give you the answer for that right now. <laughs> no, no, I don't need no other deal more, uh, <laughs> to give you the answer for that. At this point, we don't. Right now, I do. Yeah. Which guest star was your favourite to work with this season? I love working with the Angels Cobner and, and Simon Harrison, um, Bar uh, Baruch and Balthamos. I had a great time filming them. We filmed in a really... We filmed in a quarry uh, in in Bristol, and it was it was I remember it was pouring really really sunny. It was it was white quarry, sun reflecting in my eyes. It was a pain to film, but I had a good good time filming it. Uh, I ended up in that quarry a few times, I think, as well with uh, with uh, I was about to say Bjorik Bjarnason, Jorik Bjarnason, um, Adewale, who plays uh, King of Gunway, was an amazing guy and just got yeah got such a lovely amount of time to just spend and chat with him and it was a really that was like one of the highlights of the season for me what was the most challenging aspect of bringing the amber spire last to life the sheer amount of it like we needed twice the number of episodes we needed three times the budget to really kind of you know if we were to do every single page um so working it through boiling it down working with the writers working with the actors talking about what it is the most important messages that we want to take from each section of the book the most important things we want to kind of transcribe to the screen First and second books, the first and second television seasons, throw up so many questions for an audience. They tackle a lot of really, really complicated themes and the audience is often directed to go, well, what is that and why is that and what does that mean? What is dust? What is the prophecy? Why is the child important? What is it that's driving Lord Azrael? And the third season has to really answer all those questions and that was our, what I would call our beloved challenge. I love that challenge. There was a, I, end, I feel like, I don't know if it's how you've edited it, maybe you've edited it all out, but I feel like I ended up, as Asriel, sort of explaining a lot of that stuff, which is usually... Believe me, that's there. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, usually that kind of expositional stuff is like, oh, God, it's death to an actor, do you know what I mean? But I loved doing it in this show. It was so much fun getting to actually go, this is what it's actually about. Because um, it is really complicated, it is really heady, and you have spent the first two acts, the first two seasons, setting up these questions, and you've got to deliver on the answers. And if the answers, the answers also have to be interesting, and they have to be good, and they have to be as big as the questions are. Uh, and that's a lot to deliver, but it was it's a great challenge. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hope will spark in darkness.